Y bienvenidos a otra edición del Donkey Music Lounge. Soy Gaby Calerón de Rumba 100.3. Y hoy, señoras y señores, se embellece este set de Donkey Music Lounge debido a que hoy recibimos la visita de tres hermosas reinas de belleza. ¡Fuerte aplauso para ella! Damas y caballeros, directamente de Puerto Rico, la isla del encanto, tenemos dos hermosas eh, reinas. Ella es Miss Universal Petit, Mrs. Universal Petit, eh, Natalis, ¿correcto? Y Isabel. And straight ahead, Riley from California. She's Team Universal Petit. ¿Y tu your name is? Shaylina. Shaylina. Es un nombre bien raro para mí de pronunciar, pero aquí la tenemos. Así que eh, gracias por estar con nosotros. Thank you for being with us today. El resumen de estas chicas acá presente es que el pasado junio de este año 2023 fueron parte de un reinado que se llama Universal Petit directamente desde el Carnival Cruise que salió directamente desde Tampa hacia la isla de Cozumel y durante esos días eh, tuvieron muchos días de entretenimiento, de fotos y por supuesto de mucha competencia entre otras candidatas de otros países tanto de aquí de Estados Unidos y de Latinoamérica y también del continente europeo. So, ¿Cómo se siente de estar aquí con nosotros esta tarde? Se siente increíble. Muchísimas gracias por habernos invitado. Parte de verdad haber sido otorgado este gran honor es poder hacer cosas así con mis hermanas y poder comenzar este tour con ustedes. De verdad que se los agradezco y estoy bien contenta. Uh, Shadina, how was your experience of being crowned and since the beginning of the competition? It was absolutely amazing. I was working so hard for a whole year, and it's amazing to see all the other competitors and all the other girls working so hard, and all their hard work coming to life, and all the beautiful girls really just doing their best to be their really best selves. The same question for you. Well, I'm very excited because I was the first Mrs. Universal Petite, so now I know that I have to set that bar uh, and set the expectations for the future queen. So I am extremely excited and thank you for the opportunity. Eh, chicas, les pregunto, eh, ¿cuál es la misión, luego de ser coronada, meta personal como reina de cada una de ustedes? So the question is, what is your goal after being crowned, your personal goal uh, after you win this competition? Bueno, Gaby, yo trabajo como médico y parte de, de las cosas que yo hago es entrenar a otros médicos futuros. So... One of my goals is to um, take the group of trained medical students that I have worked with to a medical mission trip and work with my um, sisters to do more outreach projects in that area. Sarita? My goal is to spread my platform autism awareness across the globe. I've already uh, reached out to different places in the U.S. and being able to reach out all over the globe with my book and hopefully more YouTube videos with other doctors, I want to spread more awareness to other families and sisters and parents and doctors and everyone I can to help. So for me, I'm a mom, wife, and an entrepreneur. So for me, my biggest, uh, uh, the thing that I'm trying to portray is for everybody to feel like they can reflect themselves on me, to see that it is possible for you to be able to do anything that you want to achieve in life. And as part of my career as well, to teach other women how to be entrepreneurs as well. Eh, como pueden ver, aquí tenemos diferentes títulos y se preguntarán, pero tenemos una eh, en Miss, que es MS, MS, a una Mrs. Y tenemos una Teen. Eh, últimamente los certámenes de belleza han estado cambiando estereotipos, han ido actualizándose en cuanto a los requisitos para participar en un certamen de belleza, donde ahora pueden ser mujeres casadas, pueden ser mujeres con hijos, y aquí tenemos prueba de ellos. Eh, ¿Cómo te sientes? de esa nueva estrategia de los certámenes de belleza de darle más libertad a otras personas que antes no podían participar en un certamen. Me parece genial, el Universal Petit ha estado, ha estado trabajando con diferentes grupos de edades de mujeres, desde teens hasta 40, 50 años. Para mí, yo verdad, yo, eh, tradicionalmente era como hasta los 27, 29 años que la mujer se presentaba de esta forma, pero en mi caso surgió perfecto, ¿verdad? Porque 
yo tengo ese balance, quisiera enseñarla a otras mujeres también que se vale ser profesional, se vale tener deseos, eh, ¿verdad? Otros, otros intereses y querer comunicar y querer expresar esas cosas, pues a través de estas cosas que son el, los reinados de belleza, el pageantry, te expande las oportunidades, no importa tu edad. Así que me parece genial que otras personas estén eh, incluyendo en algo que el universo petit, ¿verdad? Hace desde los comienzos. So, the question is about now the beauty pageants can accept more delegates, doesn't matter their mom or they have been uh, married. What do you think about it? I think it's incredibly amazing that everyone, no matter how tall you are, how um, tall, how short, no matter your height, everyone's included. You don't have to be 12, you don't have to be 55. As long as you're confident in your own skin, you can be your best selves in pageants, and that's what I love so much about Universal Petite. Isabel. Well, I'll say it in English to kind of back, piggyback off of what she said. The Universal Petite gives you an opportunity uh, for ladies that are five, six and under. So for us, it's a great opportunity to be able to have a platform to showcase and show that we're not just beauty, we're also brains. So for me, age is just, age, It's just a number, honestly. So you do not have to be a certain age to look a certain way to be competing in pageants. Honestly, if you feel you're beautiful, if you're confident enough, that's what you're going to portray on that stage. I have another question. Uh, for you, whatever you want to answer. Um, if you want to suggest some something for a, a girl that want to be a queen, and this girl, this woman say, no, I don't, I don't work, for, I, I mean, I don't been designed for this, because their our confidence or their esteem, maybe you think that that she need uh, um, any advice, what, you, what, what would be your advice for, to her, for this girl that think that she cannot do this beauty pie? Anything is possible and you can do what you set your mind to. Let's put, for example, when we're born, like, you know, we have to learn how to crawl. We have to learn how to walk. So that is a perfect example for you that are watching me right now that you can do anything in life. You don't, you're not born knowing everything. You learn as you live and the experiences in life is what you're, what's going to mold you to be the person that, you know, you're, you're set to be. Any special talent that you have that you want to share with us? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone sings? Anyone uh, do acting? I act. Um, I do it in my free time, um, after school, before school, whenever I have time. I submit for um, tapes and um, different auditions. I may have not gotten anything yet, but I'm still pushing because I do really enjoy it. And it's something that I find fun, and I really could see myself doing it in the future. So I actually had the opportunity to be part of the cast in Fantasy Island, which was filmed last year in Puerto Rico. And that was also an experience that was very outside of the box for me, but it was beautiful and helped me grow. And uh, that's important also, everything that you learn from different aspects, whether it be your career, whether it be your passions or hobbies, you can always use that to build off and share with others for their growth as well. Let me guess, you're the singer. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, I've only sang in the showers. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not official. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, la reina de Miss Universe, de Universal Petit. Y ellas están aquí con nosotros. Están pasándola bien en la ciudad de Orlando. Me dicen que la van, van para SeaWorld, van para los parques, van a, en esta época de terror, van a experimentar lo que es eh, ser asustada acá. <risa> dicen que es un, una buena terapia, una buena terapia para el estrés. ¿Es verdad, doctora? ¿Verdad que sí? Bueno, sí, te saca de, de tu ámbito normal y... <risa> te, te, it's a restart, let's say. It. Ok. Si estás dormida, te despiertas. De eso sí estoy seguro. Sí. Eh, we have people here from our radio station I heard ready we have Ali Ali how are you doing great Gabby excited to be here uh, Ali what question do you have for these beautiful queens so how long did it take for you to train and what was your journey getting into you start as children was it later in life I, I'd be curious to know that I love that question because for me I actually 
didn't give myself the opportunity to participate in anything like this until I finished my career. So I was kind of very focused in that and I was lucky enough that there was an opportunity that because I am 5'3", that wasn't really something that I thought was possible, but with this universal petite system, I was given the opportunity to start building that. That was the first thing to get the seed, to see if I could do it. After that, I start working, I think it was two years in, in training. I had to um, do communication training because I am pretty shy. I was hiding under the books oh, all this time. So I wanted to pull out this, this part of me. So the walking, the training, uh, it took two years, it, even to build the confidence within myself to be able to do that. Yeah, um, watching pageants my whole life, I always like looked up to pageants as something I could never do. They were just something I watched with stars in my eyes, maybe wishing one day I would be on a stage like that. Luckily for me, um, I had the push of my mom who pushed me recently to get out of my box and just do it because why not? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? And there's no worst that could happen. You can only move forward from anything. Absolutely, I love that. And I've been competing in pageants for quite a couple years now. And I feel like my first experience with pageantry was uh, kind of like a spur of the moment. And then I realized once I stepped on that stage that it helped me step outside of the box and it gave me the confidence that I needed uh, to be able to be the person that I am today. So pageantry, like I said, is more than beauty. It definitely is brains as well, just because it teaches you. And with every experience, like you learn, you, li you live and you learn. Thank you very much, Yers. Any other question, Ali? Where did the gowns come from? Oh! <laughs> Who knows the answer? So I've worked with designers in Puerto Rico. One of my favorite designers over there is Wilbert Perez, and he has worked with me with various gowns. Um, we have a lot of young, talented designers in Puerto Rico, so that's at least where I was able to get my gowns from. I have my very favorite designer, Louis. He's from the Philippines. Um, I had him make my dresses from my state dress all the way up to my universal dress. And I love his dresses because he makes me feel pretty. He makes me feel confident on that stage. And I mean, they're re really gorgeous. Same here. I feel like all of my designs have been, or gowns, sorry, have been custom made uh, just because being able to communicate with those designers and being able to share your body type with them and what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with, uh, for me, it was the best way to go custom made. But you can get them anywhere. <laughs> Universo Petit Payen, eh, una experiencia inolvidable para aquella chica que pues quiere experimentarlo eh, porque no tan solo te da la oportunidad de representar a tu país, eh, te da la dicha también de competir y disfrutar y aprender otras culturas mientras participa. So, yo quisiera saber que, eh, que ustedes cómo hicieron para participar, qué es lo que tienen que hacer y por supuesto que compartan la información donde las pueden conseguir en Instagram y todas esas los, los redes sociales. Bueno, para participar, las inscripciones están abiertas para el próximo año. Ya pueden en entrar a la página de universalpetit.com o a las redes sociales de Universal Petit y pueden ver todas las cosas que hemos hecho tan maravillosas. Y de ahí se pueden inspirar a ustedes para, para comenzar. Tan pronto ustedes le escriban un email o un direct message, nuestra editora les va a estar contestando y les va a estar aclarando cualquier duda. <laughs> and the question is, um, uh, how do you um, subscribe to participate in the buy-in and, and all your social media information, Instagram, TikTok? Yeah, <laughs> I found Universal Petite and Petite USA from just social media, from Facebook. It was just one big leap that I took. And ever since, I've just been posting nonstop. Um, it's just from like what I eat in the morning to get how I get dressed to my new outfit or you know just walking on the street. I think posting is just a great way to show people who you are and your personality. Absolutely, I agree. I agree. Social media is a big platform for us to be able to share and um, engage with the public and with those contestants as well. You can re always reach out to us. We'll make sure that we answer any questions that you have. Reach out to our director as well. And you can also follow all of us on our journey. Uh, it's MS Teen 
Mrs. And then we have a Ms. Universal Petite Queen page on uh, fa- or Instagram. I'm sorry. So if you want to see any content, you can reach us, reach out to us on there. Do you think girls that Ali should participate next year? <laughs> She's a really petite girl. Damas y caballeros, gracias por estar con nosotros, gracias por seguirnos eh, y por supuesto, si tienes interés de que tu hija o tú misma que estás viendo el video eh, quieras participar, no te preocupes que vas a tener una experiencia inolvidable con Universal Petit y el animador oficial, por supuesto, este que es Gaby Calderón. <risa> Desde el iHeart Radio Dunkin Music Lounge, Rumba 100.3, que pasen una excelente tarde y por supuesto, será hasta la próxima. And si, I think... I personally want to know the next winners. So I'm going to the cross next year. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you.